most popular cars, trucks, SUVs of 2021, and the winners and losers in the past year. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? You have arrived at the home of super high-intensity training for car buyers. Well, we have the amazing Elizabeth here, and we're going to be talking about which vehicles are catching the most attention from car buyers this year. As our loyal followers know, the Homework Guide channel focuses on preparing car buyers with homework and research to do before the sale. That's right. Well, today we're going to discuss the fastest-selling trucks, SUVs, and cars of 2021. It's good stuff to know because it tells you something about future resale. Without a doubt, it does. If you're new here, make sure you also see the many videos on our channel covering car buying strategies and everything you need to know from paying for a car with cash to avoiding of being a victim of a fraud at a car dealership. So show us how smart you are and subscribe now. <laughs> Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> the Homework Guy is the best car buying advice show you can find online. And we have tons of guys in the car business who confirm that for us every day. Liz has it totally right. Among the usual thumbs down that we get from people like Steve Richards and other complainers out there who are totally out of touch with what's going on in the car business and they love to badger you, the car buyers, well, they're always filling you full of BS. Against those, the contrast we've heard from thousands of car salesmen, finance officers, sales managers, and even dealer owners who very much appreciate what we do and they validate it every day. So we'll put a bunch of their comments at the end of the video today so you can see them. All right, let's get on to the top customer picks of 2021, the trucks, the SUVs, the cars that people voted on. Now, this isn't just an ordinary poll, is it, Liz? Nope. These vehicles were chosen with car buyer pocketbooks. People voted with cash or with a car loan on the cars that we're talking about today. Well, that's the best kind of poll there is. That's right. These are the top vehicles car buyers purchased in 2021. There's no greater conviction than that when people put their money where their mouth is. All right, the top 10 sellers so far for 2021 at number one, drum roll please, Ford F-Series. 362,000 vehicles sold. That's all of the F-Series, by the way, the 150s, 250s, 350s. Sitting at number two, Ram Pickup. 313,000 Ram pickups sold. Kind of surprising to see Ram doing so well, right? Right. At number three, the Chevy Silverado, 286,000 trucks. So you notice the trucks took the top three spots? That's why I mentioned them in the order before. Percentage-wise, car buyers seem to like trucks more than other vehicles on the road so far here in 2021. Well, next at number four, the Toyota RAV4. No surprise here, 221,000 RAV4s sold. At number five, the Honda CRV. I know there's a lot of you CRV lovers out there. 213,000 CRVs went down the road. Number six, the Nissan Rogue. 182,000 of those down the road. That's an attractive little um, SUV, and not surprising, right. they're sitting at number six. All three of those are the smaller crossover type SUVs. Next are the usual suspects. At number seven, Toyota Camry. 177,000 of those sold. At number eight, Toyota Corolla, 155,000 sold. And at number nine, Honda Civic, 152,000 sold. Yeah, no surprise there. Everyone is making Scotty Kilmer happy with those sedan <laughs> selectors, aren't they? Hey, Scotty's a great guy. We watch his show all the time. And the final top 10 pick at number 10, Toyota Highlander, 114,000 sold. Wow, Toyota cleaned house. Yes, they did. We've also got the biggest winners and losers in the auto industry since last year. These are the biggest changes in sales percentage-wise in the last 12 months. The winners as chosen by consumer pocketbooks. Yes, people are buying every car we're talking about. So topping the winners list is number one, Genesis, up 156% over last year. Great looking vehicles, scoring high in many categories, not too surprising. Sitting at number two, Buick, up 61% from last year. Number three, Audi, up 60% from last year. Number four, Acura, up 58% over last year. And number five, BMW, up 52% over last year. Those were the biggest sales improvement percentage-wise over last year. Well, here are the vehicles that top the losers list. Number one, Fiat, down 31% since last year. Well, Fiat has just been hammered in many of the online reviews with their ratings from the 3.0 to 3.5 stars range. Very average at best. Fiat has sucked in a lot of the information that I have reviewed as well. Yeah. And we mentioned that in our vehicle list of cars not to buy a short time ago. Well, sitting at number two, Infinity down 11.3%. Anything on an Infinity, Liz? It's only slightly better reviews than Fiat with three and a half to 3.9 star range. With buyers spending that kind of money that they're asking for the Infinity, the experience has to be great. I agree. And then at number three, 
we have good old Dodge down 6.4%. I'd have to say no surprise there other than I thought Dodge would actually be a little further down. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, we saved some of the luxury brand information for you here at the end. Many of the luxury car brands have been crushing it. As compared to last year, sales for vehicles like BMW, Mercedes, and Audi are up 63%. And incidentally, these also happen to be the vehicles that are the top ranking for Google searches all around the world in 2021. That's right. They sit right on the top of Google searches yeah. this past year. So, Liz, what's the difference between porcupines and BMWs? Oh, no. What? <laughs> porcupines have the pricks on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> hey. All right. That's my favorite BMW joke. Sorry. By the way, if you have a favorite car joke that you want to share, well, feel free to put it in the comment section down below and we'll share the good ones in an upcoming show. How about that? Okay. Sounds good. All right. Moving on with all the enthusiasm about things being up in the luxury car markets, there's some bummer news or should I say Beamer news? Well, anyway, this momentum <laughs> is likely to slow down as many of the industry experts are expecting the microchip shortage to continue having an impact into the first quarter of next year. You know how we've been telling many of you wait 12 to 18 months, you know, well, into next summer. Sure. Um, we've been saying that for a while now. Well, it looks to carry over into the first quarter of next year. So what do you think caused this sales spike here in the last year in 2021? What do you think caused it? Well, it probably is related to uh, COVID going away. Well, the biggest factor was the easing of COVID-related restrictions in major metro markets where there's a high concentration of those luxury vehicle dealers, and that was huge. As far as the microchip shortage concerns go, Jaguar Land Rover, otherwise known as JLR, said it expects wholesale volume to be as much as 50% lower than they planned over the next three months. And JLR does expect that some level of shortages will continue through the year's end and into the first quarter next year. There's that first quarter again, guys. So pay yep. attention to that. You want to be thinking about buying after first quarter next year. The same is true over at Volvo. Javier Varela, head of industrial operations at Volvo, said they also expect the second half of this year to be very challenging. They're currently working with only two weeks of visibility in the production and assembly lines. And that's not much, that's not much. you guys. Well, according to Cox Automotive, the number of days required to get new vehicles for luxury brands in the U.S. is 37 days right now, which is just a smidge higher than that 31 days for non-luxury brands. I'd like to hear from our viewers on what you're being told by car dealers. We've heard a lot of stories about these very, very yeah. long waits for anything that people had to order. And the dealer you pick does make a difference on that. If the dealer doesn't have sufficient sales volume, they sit low on the pecking order. They won't tell you that, but it's absolutely true. It is totally true. Yep. If they don't have enough volume, find another dealer who does, and they'll be able to get you that car on the time frame we just mentioned. Among the luxury cars, Lexus reportedly has the fastest supply right now with just 22 days needed for new car orders, while Infiniti and Genesis tied for dead last, waiting 60 days for new car supply. Oh, ouch, that's painfully slow. <laughs> yes, industry experts all agree it will be the automakers who can get their cars to market fastest who will be the winners in the long run. Well, that's just plain old good common sense right there. If you can't deliver, well, people aren't going to wait. Yep. According to J.D. Power, the three industry segments that have the highest levels of inventory are A, large premium cars, B, compact premium cars, and C, subcompact cars. There's a lot going on in the auto industry right now, that's for sure. Well, that's a wrap on the top movers for 2021, along with the winners and losers over the past year sales-wise. These were the most popular cars, trucks, SUVs of 2021. And as a closing note, a total of 624,414 cars and light trucks sold in the second quarter here this year. Wow. In the overall market, all vehicles combined, the past quarter represents the hottest three-month stretch of new vehicle sales since 2005. Surprising news during a very bloated car oh, market. Oh, yeah. It's very surprising. I'm just imagining all those upside-down car loans looming in the very near future. Ouch. People scrambling to figure out how to get out of those loans. I'm glad it didn't happen to me. Even if it happens to be a seller's market, which is right now, Liz, do you know yes. when you still should buy a car? Well, I'm sure you're going to tell us, Kevin. If you can drive your car to town, if you can leave it in a busy parking lot, if you can leave the doors unlocked and the windows down and the keys in it and you have no worries of anybody <laughs> stealing the car, <laughs> well, then I'd be happy to recommend that you find a new ride no matter what the fat current prices happen to be and then just do some due diligence and go buy yourself a new car. Oh, you, you need something new. Even in a seller's market. All right, got it. 
Okay, everyone, if you appreciate our video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And please always comment on our videos. Your comments make a huge difference with boosting the search algorithms that help others find the content too. So leave us a little morsel of wisdom in the comment section. Remember to add hashtag the homework guide to your comment. If you're on other platforms, look for us out there. There's a list of options on the screen now, and they're linked in the description box below. And if you're new here, as we always remind you, make sure you click around and check out our other videos. We've reached over 45 million people, and you might as well benefit from all that great content too. And if you love what we do and want to contribute with a tip, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be easy to find in that description box down below. And, and thank you. Yeah, thank you to all of you who do that. There's a lot, and it's awesome. But no problem if you can't do a tip. The best way to help us out is exactly what Liz said. Share this video with your family and friends so they can get just as lucky as you. And then encourage everyone to subscribe. Ring that notification bell, the ding, 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 so you don't <laughs> miss a thing. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's exactly what we do. Well, thanks everyone for coming back. We do this for you. We'll be back soon with another great video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter here with the amazing Elizabeth. We, we gotta, gotta go. go. watched any of the bozos on the internet teaching people how to buy cars? Kevin Hunter and his little buddy Liz. They talk about the car business like it was done in the 60s and 70s. Well, Steve's taking us all out to dinner. <laughs>